Well, finally, the Chrome browser is generally available to everyone. So you can start downloading and installing this program on your computer. And then you can use this AI browser to delegate your own tasks. And that is possible because the Chrome browser has one unique feature. That is the AI agent. So I think the simplest way to describe it is basically AI is able to take control over the browser, not the entire browser, of course, but at least it can control certain pages to perform tasks in the same manner as human did. So it can open a page, it can navigate to a website, use search engines, and then click on buttons, links, elements, menus, etc. So it is really, really like behaving like a real person, but again, it was AI. And by the way, this is just one example of an AI agent still in the experimental phase from Gemini, and this is running on a server. But with the Comet browser, that AI agent is running on your browser, and the benefit is quite massive, which is something that I'll talk later in this video. But it's going to be way faster, more consistent, and a lot easier to control. So I'm going to show you how we can use the AI agent feature via the Comet browser. Of course, first you have to download the Comet browser and then you have to sign in with your Perplexity account. And let's open a new tab. Now, there are two ways you can control or access the Perplexity interface, either by navigating to the a new tab or the Perplexity homepage, or you can open the side menu. It is just the same thing, but there's actually a merit of using the sidebar menu because that means you can see the page and use AI at the same time. It is really up to you which one that you want to use, but they are able to utilize the AI agent feature via the browser. Now, in this case, I will try to tell AI to navigate to x.com and then find some uh, tweets from some profiles and then uh, summarize that into Google Docs so it will create a brand new document. That's basically the general uh, instruction that I'm going to provide to AI. So I'm going to close this and I'll just start from the beginning. Let's say I will tell AI to go to x.com, I'll find the latest tweet, maybe not tweet anymore, it is x, <laughs> the latest post from let's say a Gemini. ChatGPT and Mistral. Then summarize them in a new document in Google Docs. So send the message. And basically the way you use the AI agent in the Comet browser is using a natural language. As long as you are providing a specific instruction, it should understand that it needs to use the browser and then navigate to the appropriate website, and then it's going to click on the elements or buttons that are necessary to accomplish the task. So right here, you can see the preview. It is actually opening the x.com page. So this is the page that the AI is seeing. Now I cannot take over control, but at least I can pause or stop the action if I want to. So the AI is now just navigating the page, doing exactly that I'm instructing AI to do. And this might take several minutes depending on the complexity of the task. So I guess I'll just skip forward and show you whether or not AI is able to finish the task. So I'll be back in a second. Well, it is finally done. And if you want to see the step process or the step-by-step -step process that they just did, you can click steps right here and you'll see all the things that AI have done. Now, let's navigate to Google Docs and I just want to verify uh, that this tool is able to put all the tweets, the latest tweets from the companies that I mentioned into a brand new Google Docs document. Okay, so I guess it is this one, the untitled document. So it's not provided any title and that's because I didn't specify to AI that it needs to change or rename the document, but that's totally fine. So uh, we got, okay, Gemini, ChatGPT, or OpenAI, and then Mistral. So Gemini talks about any memory building or something like that. And if you look at the Gemini Twitter account, you'll see that, yes, it is pretty, pretty much the latest tweet. The same is likely to be true for OpenAI. It is Dev Day. Let's see. Okay, OpenAI, pin comment, sorry, pin pause, uh, pre pause. OpenAI Dev Day. Okay, that is very accurate. It is October 9th, so it's very much on point. Mistral is from September 21st. Let's see if that is true. Yeah, September 9th, September 21st. Yep, this is correct. So 
As you can see, AI is able to gather the latest information from the web. It is basically controlling the web, controlling the browser in the same way like a real person would use a browser. It is navigating to some websites, clicking on some links, and it can re read content on the page. So that's actually pretty cool. But be aware that right now AI is not perfect and sometimes Comet can stuck in a loop and it could it can happen sometimes it is not able to access certain websites sometimes it is cannot do certain actions so those are a few things that might happen when you're using Comet but in general you can imagine that the Comet browser agent is a very useful coworker that can do the work for you so it will save your time it will make you more productive and of course uh, this help tool is now generally available you can use it completely for free so go ahead use the comment browser and let me know what you think about uh, this amazing uh, browser from perplexity AI. thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video have a great day